hello you are welcome to the episode 9 of the bts series and i'm super excited having you on this episode because in this episode i'll be talking about how to maximize the bezier 2 on your flyers okay one to create the you can use the bezier 2 to create test effects to create amazing custom made text um on your flyers that you can always choose on your flyer then the second thing is that you can use it to create curves around your design this is a very amazing tool and i want you to stick to the end watch this video from the beginning to the end and you'll be amazed at how much you are going to learn about the bezier too in fact many things you probably didn't know before now stick around and um, follow me carefully while i take you through this adventure i will see you in the video all right so once once again you are welcome to this video now if you are new to my channel you know what to do kindly hit the subscribe button so that you keep getting amazing videos from this channel and so that you don't miss out on any video in fact so that you don't miss out on any video from this channel turn on your notification bell okay ensure that your notification bell is turned on so that whenever i drop new content youtube will automatically notify you that oh I've dropped new content again and also i want you to like this video so that youtube can recommend this video to more people please like this video like do that right away i mean right away okay so please like this video and um let's go on the journey all right so the first thing um the first thing is to take you to the bz2 now this is a series that i've started um for i've had eight episodes now this is the episode nine and um i would like you to start from the beginning even if you are going to watch this video from the beginning to the end okay fine and good watch this video from the beginning to the end but then i want you to start from the beginning right i want you to start from the beginning okay sorry yeah i would like you to start from the beginning of the episode um of this series from episode one to this episode and for you to get the previous episode just check the description box below check the description box below you are going to see the link to the other episodes in this series all right so like i said i want to teach you how to maximize the display to on your flyer design okay now the first thing i'll be talking about is creating curves like using curves okay, let me delete this um if you've been following this episode using um using all of these things using all these features here all these tools should not be a problem for you okay this shouldn't be a problem for you at all so if you haven't been following then go and start watching from the beginning okay so like i said this is a node already look at it this is a node this is another node and this has created a curve already but then i want to create a i want to create i want to um adjust this curve so to adjust it i'll just tap on this then i'm going to adjust this i'm going to move this here you see what i'm going to be showing you are not things that are really strange to you if you have been designing or seen amazing designs but then i just want to bring it closer to you by showing you how to do the same thing on pixel app all right so i've created this right then the next thing is to uh, i want to add more nodes i want to add more nodes then i want to close it up how to close it up is using this all right so you can see what i just formed but then um something is wrong here i need to adjust this don't forget i'm trying to create a curve but then just watch i'm doing it so i want to adjust this node down right i want to adjust this down i want to tap on this i want to adjust this one okay yeah this one i want to adjust this down now this should be the focus i mean this let me show what i'm talking about this this should be my focus i want this to be my focus like this particular curve okay so that is my focus in this video now i'm going to do something now come down reduce the stroke to zero okay so you can't see anything now but then i'm going to increase the opacity increase this opacity then let me change the color so that you can see what i just from tap on this okay you can see what i just found but then i want to use my color okay my brown color really so that um yeah or oh, if it's not going to okay so this is it well i don't know why the thing is not present what's wrong 
okay so this is what i've got now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm not just going to leave it here right i'm not just going to leave it here i'm going to um i'll come to this look at this look at this tap on this this is to increase the size then i'm going to increase the size you can see that so i'm just increase the size to cover up for those edges yeah increase it some more then mark it now tap on this to move it then i'm going to move this down i know that what i'm this this thing i'm forming is not um alien to you you are familiar to this okay then mark it and then look at it it has been formed see what i was about forming this has been formed you can see this um curve so with this now i can use this as my footer i can just increase the size some more a bit then i'm just going to move this here then um come to relative position you can now um, do all of those positioning okay here is it position then mark it you can now lock this and now begin to type your text on it and um, form amazing things like bringing them down more like your footer especially i think this is going to work well if you are dealing with a feminine um let's assume you are dealing with a um a cosmetics a design on cosmetics that kind of thing this is going to work fine for you okay yes all right so now i can begin to adjust but that is not the focus of this tutorial you, this tutorial just to show you how to form that curve and the usefulness so i can i can decide to now clear all of this and say any ski any any cosmetics okay let's just borrow that name any cause okay sorry any cosmetics cosmetics maybe that's the name of the brand so just click on ok ok and this is what we've got i can now use social media icons and all of that okay i believe you get the point i'm trying to paint i believe you get the idea i'm trying to give you okay so this is what i just formed right now if i'm working on a design with this then i know how to pass it what i'm creating i know i can just change the color of the background to something else and just um do something amazing with this and i will to achieve like change the font and do everything i need to do again okay but then my point is to show you how to create this curve so you can see this now this is basic and um probably you have an idea on how to create this before now but i'm creating this for people that don't okay so i'm going to write all of this then the next thing i'm going to do the next thing i'm going to do is to create cu custom text now don't forget that we are talking about how to use this on your flyer now you may not really use this please listen to me now and listen good you may not need to use this for your footer in fact you may use this to just make your design look um good like to just make your design look unique now let me create a custom text for you to see click on bezel right now this is this has formed our um a curve already so i'm just going to tap on this then i'll tap on then i'll create this node then i will um this then you can just make them join together now just watch me and see do i want to adjust it now so i'll have to do just to move this here then i will uh, adjust this down can you see what i'm trying to do now then i adjust this move this up right move this up then adjust this more like i'm trying to replicate that, that curve um adjust this adjust this yeah for this one i'm not using my guide line all right i'm not using my guide line because i just want to create a custom shape and um a shape that is not geometric right so um my curve may really have may not have much to do with this okay so um you can see what i'm creating i believe you can see what i'm creating so okay so you can see what i just formed and um yeah so i can decide to move this down a bit more you can just adjust and do all of those adjustments then i can now i can increase the opacity of this come down then um select this then come to stroke reduce the stroke and mark it so you see this now i can use this for different things depending on the kind of flyer i'm creating okay i can use this for different things i can use this for different things and even if i have to use my guide line let's say i want i want this side i mean this side let me show you let's say i want this side and this side to be a perfect line 
then i will need to use my git line in that key so all i have to do is just to click on a deed then tap on this then i will have to just move this here very very simple i will tap on this move this here then i will tap on this move this here let's let's quickly do that okay since that is the goal of this okay then i will now have to tap on this right i have to tap on this but then i need to also adjust something i need to move this okay i need this this to be here um just like this is here okay you can see what i just formed now this is what i've got so i just need to tap on this and ensure that you this is enabled right then move this can you see what i just formed very amazing but then i need to also move this node here then i will um okay all right tap on this and then okay you can see this node now it was hiding before just move this one here then um this one so that we can create that curve we can just move this curve here then tap on this move this here now adjust this now be careful which node you are dealing with right now you see i've, I've dealt with all of this in the previous episode so if you are here now and you don't really understand you may just need to go back to the previous episode okay because i've actually dealt with this thing today okay now um you can see what i just formed look at it oh come on sorry look at this can you see that can you see how amazing this is now i can now increase the size and just make it fit into what i'm creating like the kind of design i'm creating you see the whole point is to have an idea looks like this line is not straight i think i need to adjust that again um okay i think i know where the issue is from now like this is not perfect tap on this again and then okay yes to so ensure that you actually take your time and um that your lines are perfect so take out your time and uh, be very careful be sure that you are doing the right thing so that you'll be able to achieve your aim your objective all right so let's check it again the lines are now straight i believe yeah the lines are now straight we can decide to zoom if you need to um can decide to zoom okay it's not zooming right <laughs> yes so let's just leave it at that but then you get my point i can decide to increase the size that you see perfectly look at this line look at this particular line very straight look at this other one too. in fact i just got an idea i can decide to create something like this can you see it? let's assume that this is a flyer for you know design is thinking actually so you have to spend more time thinking um, just from this i'm gonna I'm get an, an idea already i can decide to do something like this or uh, mark it then um create a shape this kind of stuff like let's assume that maybe it's a flyer so I can just create circles, move them in here. So you see that? Mark it, copy this, uh, move this here. All right, this is, this is going to be for, for the speakers. Then I can copy this, move this here. Yes, move this here. Then I can copy this and move this here. Can you see what I'm creating, guys? Can you see what I'm creating? This is amazing. All I have to do now is just to put in the picture of my guest, okay? Maybe, let me know if you need a, a design. Maybe, if you want me to create a design, and create the tutorial of the design on this in the comment section. I think I'm loving what this is turning out to become. This is, this looks great, right? So I'm just going to try, I'm just going to lock all of this so that I don't lose them. Because I think I'm loving this uh, particular, this, this is an uncommon layout, okay? An uncommon concept for flyer design. So let me just go back to what I was teaching you. So I can decide to use this for amazing things. Just move this here or move this here part of the design. Change the color to one of the gold. Let's have it down to use this on a, on a first flyer now. I can even use gradient for this. That's the amazing part because gradient can change the whole field. Gradient, gradient can change the whole field. Can you see this? You can see how it made it solid. So let me click on plus. all right so you can see the way me changing the gradient change the old feel okay let me try and change the um gradient um layout
okay so let me just change the gradient layout to this um horizontal click on ok can you see can you see this this looks amazing okay depending on the concept depending on the kind of flyer you are working on and depending on your concept the concept you want to try out on the flyer this looks very very amazing in fact if i'm eventually going to go with this if i'm eventually going to work with this which what we determine is your comment okay so if you drop a comment on this then I'll, i'm going to give it a try right since you can just see that it was while i was working with you guys here that i got this concept like i've never tried it before i've ne I've never tried out a concept like this before but i just feel like it's going to look great so but then let me just now let me know your thoughts on this in the comments so my point is that you can see how using gradient made it feel made it look better like give it a, a better feel right so this is very amazing and um yeah so um that is going to be that for this tutorial now you see now let me let me just tell you something one thing about um the bz is that you can explore it see the goal of this series is to help you know the capability so that you can um start out with this tutorial then you can begin to explore on your own that's the amazing thing about this because there is no end to the exploration right so you can keep trying things and try and, and keep trying things because you see you can keep trying different things that can just fit into your um your taste that can fit into the kind of um that can fit into the kind of concept you want that can fit into the kind of design you want okay so this is using the bz2 on your flyer you see that you can use this on different ways on your fly in fact you can use the bz to create a rope like seal okay you can use it why right? because you know if i click if i click on the bz to now look at this so i can decide to make it more tiny you can see the stroke i can decide to make it more tiny to just fit into the kind of um to fit into what i want all right and if you feel like okay let me increase the stroke if you feel like oh the stroke um the end you want them to be sharp just tap on this very very simple like this is amazing look at this this is amazing and this is going to lead us to the next thing that i want to teach you about which is using the bz to create custom sh um custom text cost custom font for your design you can this is in fact this is this is the most amazing part of this um using the bz to on your flyer because with this you can use it to create amazing shapes like i mean amazing text amazing editing maybe for your church flyer for your concert for your um for your business flyer you can use this to create amazing like custom shapes okay now thank you for watching to this point in the next video i'm going to talk about how to use this that's bts 10 okay i don't want to do all of that in this video because it's going to make it too long and it's going to make it difficult for many persons to watch all right so thank you for sticking around to this point i'm going to see you in the next video now don't forget to recommend this video to at least one person if you've gotten value because i'm very sure you've gotten value and let me know in the comment section if you've gotten value just type in the comment section that i got value to be sure that you actually watched to the end thank you for, thank you once again for sticking to the end of this video i'm going to see you in the next one peace out